So I just want to take this day to talk about bullying, kids being bullied at school. So I've been thinking about this since morning before I went to the gym and I came back. I just tried to take my time to calm down to talk about this. So this morning I was reading my son's school work or just going through it and there was one that stood out. Teacher wrote, no, not assisted by anyone. For my son is quite ahead of his peers in class. Anyway, that's, that's, not the, that's not the point of this video. Anyway, so I think the classwork was reflect on something that happened to you. And my son remembered that when he was in kindergarten, a child told him that his skin looks like poop. And he wrote this down. And he, he said at the end of school day, he cried. And he got home and he told his mom and his mom said he should tell the kid that he does not care, blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, I know that kids bully my, my kids at school. I know. And we've talked about it with the school several times. But I don't remember, my son did not tell me in particular what this child said to him. So, and I'm still going to take it up with the school anyway. But I'm just talking about this because a lot of parents act like they don't know when their kids are bullies. They'll be like, oh, kids are just being kids. But things like this are being taught. Now, I'm not directing this at any race of family, whatever, because the kid, the kid can be any race. The kid can be any race. It's just things that kids say that parents don't stop. You hear your child saying things like this, of which sometimes when these kids say these things and you see the parents are embarrassed, they're not embarrassed that their kids are saying something. They're embarrassed that the kid is saying it outside because it's supposed to be something that we say in our house, in our circle. You don't say it outside. So this was so bad that my son remembered it and actually wrote it when remembering kindergarten. And I remember in kindergarten, teacher was messaging us every other week. Oh, your son did this. Oh, your son stomped away. Oh, your son walked away. Your son was mad today. And acting like my, like my child has behavioral problems. And then my husband asked her once that, have you asked him why he's behaving like this or have you, or you don't know why if you don't know then you should ask him what happened that he's acting this way and she did not reply that message she ignored that message and that was the last time she sent any message about my son being upset about something and we see it every day when people when when you are being bullied everybody ignores the bully and everybody focuses on how you react to the bully. They'll be like, oh, your child is overreacting. Oh, the, the bully did this. You should have walked away. Oh, the bully did this. Why did you scream? Oh, then the teacher will say, um, you, you made noise in class. You're making noise during quiet time. But the bully was bullying you during quiet time. Even, 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 even my daughter, last year, she, I think in, in second grade, there was a child that was always touching her butt. And she told the child to stop touching her butt. And I told her if he touches your butt again, tell her that he should stop it. And then when she told him to stop it, the boy screamed in class. And the teacher said my child was, 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 was bugging him and, she, and, was, and was her fault. I was very upset about it. I want to take it up with the school. But we, 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 we just we ignored that. So these things happen. And, and the, the teachers, I know, that, you're, I know that, that teaching work is very, very difficult. I know teaching work is very, very, very difficult. But why is it that you guys feel so comfortable ignoring the bully? And then focusing on the child that is being bullied. You guys feel comfortable doing that. And you're, you're focusing on how my kid or someone else's kid is reacting to the bully. But everybody sees the bully misbehaving and everybody just keep, keeps quiet. But when you react and you don't like being bullied, then you become the problem. And if you are here to police my tone, please take several seats or just you can you can swipe out you don't have to watch this video i'm not directing this video at any race of family or whatever because the child could be any race because these things happen we know it all of us it happens to all of us and sometimes when your kids say this rubbish stuff some of you are embarrassed not not that you're embarrassed that your child said this you're embarrassed that your child said it in public your child said it outside and now he's rubbing off on you because your child is only supposed to talk about those things indoors it's like a like a family thing or a private thing that you guys talk about in your family, in your circle. And you're embarrassed that your child actually said it. Not because your child is doing it, but because your child said it outside and now it's rubbing off on you. 
kids are being taught these things. All of you that act like you don't know that your kids are bullies. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are just lying to yourself. Either you are too lazy to address it or you yourself are a bully. Yeah, you can get upset if you want. Anybody can get upset if they want. But I'm not going to take it if somebody tells my kid that, that his skin looks like poop. A five-year-old, for goodness sake. A five-year-old. My, da my daughter was five as well when we were in church that some girls told her they cannot play with her because her skin is dirty. Yes, we know, the, we, we know the girls, but still I'm not directing it as one race because these things happen in every race. There, there's all this hierarchy of race, but I don't give a rat's ass about anybody's race hierarchy. I don't give a rat's ass. I, re, I really don't, I, I, I could care less about the color of anybody's skin. But I'm not going to take rubbish. I'm not going to take nonsense from anybody. So if your child is a bully, you fix that shit. You fix that shit. If your child is a bully, maybe you yourself are a bully. I've, I've heard stories of parents that they discovered that their, that their child was bullying somebody at school. And they took the, the child to the, to, to, to the, to, they, they took the bully child to the other kid's house to apologize. I saw one on Cora. She took the child to the other kid's house. She told the child, her, she told the kid's mother that her child is going to do all the chores that that kid has to do that weekend. And her child did all the chores. And she told me you'll never bully that kid again. And if my child bullies somebody, I'm going, to take, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take action. I'm going to make sure it never happens again because I don't want to raise a bully. I'm not a bully. I was bullied in high school. I know what, I know what it's like. I don't want to raise a bully. I'm bullied. And, and all, all, all of you that are raising bullies are acting like you don't know. You're raising jerks. You're raising jackasses. I'm sorry. Children are good. Children are good. Children are good naturally. But the things they do, the bad things they do, like bullying and hating, are being taught. So I don't know what you're teaching your child, but I'm not going to, I, 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 I can't keep telling my child to act strong. Why should my child be the one acting strong and your child has the freedom to be a kid and be a nasty kid at that? Anybody can be upset about this, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to take this bullshit. I'm not going to take this bullshit. And if you're here to police my tone again, I'm going to say it. You can, you can check out now. This is just rubbish. If, if, you're, if, if you feel like I'm overreacting, then think about it. Somebody tells you your skin looks like poop. Would you like it? Somebody says your child's skin looks like poop. Would you like it? This is how you guys, this is how some, 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 some people raise, raise jackasses that go out into the world and act like jerks everywhere they go. And then, they, and then they're wondering why people avoid them. They're wondering why things don't work out for them the way, the, the, the way things are supposed to. They are, they, are, they are wondering how, how, why they, they, cannot, they cannot form sensible relationships with people because, they are, because you guys have raised jackasses. Every, I'm, I'm talking about anybody from every race, whatever. You are raising jackasses. If your child is a bully and you are not addressing it, maybe then, then you yourself are a bully. I'm not going to take this bullshit. And I'm going to take it up with the school. But I'm just talking about it here for now because some people will come here and make all sorts of excuses. Oh, maybe the child has behavior, behavioral problems. Or maybe the child has ADHD. Please leave ADHD kids alone. Leave special needs kids alone. We know that most bullies are not special needs. So leave special needs kids alone. They, they've, they, they have enough to deal with and their parents have enough to deal with. But if you are raising a bully, please fix your kid. Fix your kid. If not, you are going to raise a jackass that nobody will want anything to do with. Anyway, that's all I have to say. And if I have anything else to add, I'm going to make another video. I'm going to add and I'm going to continue talking about everything. Somebody bullies my child. I'm going to talk about it so you guys can fix this shit. Teachers, you guys need to fix this shit. Principals of schools, you guys need to fix this shit. Stop acting like you don't, like, like, like you don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not about a whole paragraph that you write on your, on your school website to say, oh, we are diverse and we do what, 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 what. We don't, we, we, we don't um, recruit based on race or what. We don't do any of this. You put a whole paragraph and all this vague whatever. And then when, when stuff happens, everybody, everybody starts hiding. They hide the bully. Oh, somebody did something to your child, but we're not going to mention the name. Somebody did something to your child. We're not going to do this. I want to meet the parents of that bully. Let's talk about this bullshit. Why is your child a bully? Are you yourself a bully? Or is it that you don't know your kid? Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm, if I have anything else, I'm going to add later. Whatever. Thanks for watching. I'm Brie. This is my channel. Bye-bye.